Ravenil here, and hello and welcome to part number 12 of my Let's Play of Fran Bo. Okay, so in the last part, Mr. Midnight got kidnapped! Mr. Midnight, say something! Please don't take my kitty away from me again! It word is horrible, he kidnapped my kitty! So of course we gotta get Midnight back. These bulbs don't know whether to stay turned on or off. A pencil. I don't need it. I think this is a wrench. Can be useful. Okay. Edward made a paper boat. Hmm, hello? You Edward's other head. Like the hat. Okay. One. Ina. Okay. Looks like the machine needs some energy to wake up. Okay, so I guess the puzzle here is that I have to turn on this machine in order to get out. And let's see, that says one, two, three, four, five. Maybe that's the order I need to do things? Let's see what this is. Arg, won't turn on. What should I do? Okay, that made the floor rise. Okay, that's an elevator, essentially. Ooh! What's this? I found a battery! Good. Okay. So, let's see. The first thing I need is the battery, I assume. Where could the battery be put? Where could the battery be put? Possibly in this thing? Okay. Can I open the panel or do I need like a screwdriver to use the wrench or something? Because it looks like the nuts and bolts, like she says, nuts and bolts, I never know which is which. It looks like it's missing two nuts or bolts, whatever the heck it is. <laughs> it's missing two of them. So that's a little weird. Whoa, a mechanical arm. You alive? Two. Des. Okay. I wonder. What a lovely little tree. Lovely plants. You give a lot of air for me to breathe. Okay. What's with the carrots? Mmm, tasty carrot. Okay. Green leaves. Alright. What can I do with the battery? Okay guys, so I got completely confused by all this, but here is what we need to do. We need to take the wrench and take the nuts off. Take these last nuts off so that we can open up this bloody panel. There we go. Okay. Yay! Okay, good. Now we can put in the battery. There we go. Aha! Now it's working properly. Okay, I guess we don't need to put the front back on. Okay, so now... Now can we go up? Can we go up now? Okay, that still made it go up. Are you serious? What if we turn this now? Oh. I see. Yay! We did it! That took me forever to figure out. Oh my god, is that Fran's parents? What the heck? Are you? <gasps> oh my god! Oh. Okay. Oh, why? Uh, that's horrible. Okay, we're not in DOT mode anymore. What's this? I've seen these on movies. The thief always knows what to do. Hmm, this is locked. Okay, this is some sort of combination lock, it looks like. A reset button. How practical. Okay. 
So I guess this must be what the hatch thing was talking about. I'm not sure what this is doing though. It seems to be redirecting the way that we're moving. Okay. Can I do anything with the bucket? With the teapot? Oh, cool, I got some water. That's good. Alright, let's, uh... What's this? A water symbol. Guess this is connected to something. Okay. What's this? Oh, dear! <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Oh, dear. I missed. <laughs> Try this way? Nope. Okay. Uh let's try this way maybe? Nope. That's not doing anything useful. Okay. About this way. Oh god, no, we're just getting everything wet. Okay. Let's see if we can solve this now. Okay. So, based on what the cards said, we need to go right eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then right another five. One, two, three, four, five. Now left eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now right six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now left nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you serious? Oh, there we go. Yay. Uh oh. Why is it dark? Why is it dark? Why is it so dark? I'm terrified to do this, but... What do you even see, Fran? I don't see anything. <gasps> Holy! Surprise, Fran! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party? Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear Fran. Come and eat cake. That's one hell of a surprise, guys. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Itward, sir. The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us, naturally born or handmade beings, here you go. I hope you find it educational. Um. Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. Open it. Okay. It's a Mr. Midnight doll. Wow, a cat doll. Aw, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know? Like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pills, sir? Is the ultra-reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Yes, please! They're long overdue. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra-reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party! But in the ultra-reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think, maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. Ah! <laughs> That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes! We're about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. Alright, here I go.
Oh crap. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no! What is happening? Oh dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Uh... Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it. Fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, kitty. I'm scared. Me too, my Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Okay. Duotine mode. <gasps> oh my god, it's them again. Yeah. Okay. Where is it? It doesn't seem to be up there. Is it out here? Okay, he looks creepy as heck in this mode. There's the Kamala! Okay, use water on the Kamala! Die, you evil demonic thing! Yay! Okay, I got rid of it. I think? Oh my god. Whew! Ah, don't run away! Where are you going? That's kind of gross. What did it leave? Ugh. Okay. Edward! Please, sir, I need your help! I can't help you now, Fran. I have to concentrate on driving the machine. I don't know how to get rid of the Kamala. Water, my dear. There's plenty of water to get rid of it. Okay, so I guess we gotta go back up and get more water. Okay, we'll get more water. Oops, wrong thing. Where's the bucket? Oh no, did it take my bucket? Oh crap. <gasps> oh crap, okay. Yeah. I missed. Ah! Go away! You wretched thing! Seriously, I missed again. Go away! I will drown you! Oh, for... Drown you! Drowning demon! I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. Okay, let's go back down, Mr. Midnight. Let's let him know we got rid of the dang thing. Itward, sir, we did it. The Kamala's gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going to drown. Wait, we're going down, not going to drown. <laughs> no, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair, not fair! Oh. I'll always take care of you, my dear. Oh. Oh my god. What's happening? And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. Oh, crap! But then how are we... The end. What? We died. But that's a very sad ending. It were. Tell me another story, please. All right. This is the story of Fran Bow and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. Hee <laughs> hee. I promise, It were. I'll never forget you. Good, now it's time to sleep. <laughs> Midnight. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. So, did she die? <gasps> Chapter 4, Part 2, Doctor's Prescription. What just happened?! <laughs> We're alive! I think. Bambi's here. Bambi sniffs us and then runs away. It worked! Midnight! Oh, thank goodness. 
Midnight and I are alive. Ow. Kitty, we're alive! We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes! We are alive. Hmm. But Itward's gone. But he brought us home. We're outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already, you see? The bottle's empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come to me someday. Is this his bike? A red bicycle. Is this Itward's bike or mine? I don't know. Wow, Mr. Midnight, do you see the moon? It's huge. Yes, I see it. Our home is in that direction, too. In that case, we're heading that way. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hayes Street. Yes, it is. Is this our house? No. It doesn't appear I can click on it, so I'll just keep going. What's this? And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. I hope so, too. Aunt Grace! Hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm. Let's find it. It's probably in a flower pot or something. Ew! I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Okay. Arg, no key! What's this? A note? It says, I took the key. Signed, Fran. Fran? But that's me. But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. This is also confusing. What should I do now? Uh. The heck? Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. Seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it is very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Arg. Alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. You got it, little guy! Oh my god, he's a face! Okay. It's very dark inside. So do we just wait for midnight to figure out a way to let me in? Mr. Midnight, do you hear me, kitty? Open the door! <gasps> what the heck? Fran? I can't believe this! You're alive? Where were you? Dr. Dearn, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave me, now, please. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight's inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat's inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. No! Don't take me! No! No! Midnight! Oh, okay, there were a bunch of spirits over there. Oh, Fran. I'm so freaking sorry. I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, 
I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. Oh. I found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Franbo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding out about her parents' murder. Family murder on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Holma, said, It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Franbo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. What the heck? And this, this is a ton of stuff that says that Fran's dead. But obviously she's not. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplamatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplamatin creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if the ecto is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra-reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra-reality? That must be the consequences of duotine. Nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you're imagining things. That's all. Oh my god! I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Athirsta with Palantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantris, and my kitty's all alone. Palantris? Itward? Please, Fran. Palantris is the doctor of Athirsta. He's a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Jesus. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantris is right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? <laughs> well, not tonight. Jeez. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Oh man. Well, we will be following him in the next part, you guys. That was a very interesting turn of events, and I hope to heck we get reunited with Midnight. I care about him more than anything. <laughs> more than anything else in this game, that is. 
But yeah, I will be seeing all of you in the next one. Oh my god, poor Fran. Alright you guys, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like and to use the links on screen to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the description of the video in order to find other ways to support me. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see all of you in my next video. Bye!